My first moments in this new Durango SRT are spent adjusting the heavily bolstered leather seats and flat bottom steering wheel. It's important to get these right at a track day once settled in. It's time to look around and gauge my surroundings from the windshield. Turn 1 is clearly marked and easy to spot after peering down the long straightaway to the right, a 153-foot-tall pagoda to the left, a yard of bricks and back, two additional rows of seats wait why am I about to run the infield road course at Indianapolis Motor Speedway in the Durango? SRT is why. They bolted in a 6.4-liter Hummy engine, good for 475 horsepower and 470 pounds FT of torque, and an equally capable 8-speed automatic transmission Mega Brembo brakes work with 295-45R20 Pirelli P0 tires to arrest progress as quickly as it builds SRT also stiffened up the front and rear springs, fattened up the rear stabilizer bar and added Bilstein adaptable shocks then there's the electronics the stability control system System, throttle mapping and power steering weight all adjust. That's common, but SRT also quickens gear shift time, sends more power to the rear of the all-wheel drive system and tightens up shock absorbers. The aforementioned adjustability comes from choosing one of seven different drive modes available and two of those modes are sport and track and track mode. This SUV, with seating for six, is able to withstand hot, well, very warm, laps on a track the default setting is automatic, which makes the Durango SRT its most comfortable self. There's also Eco, to squeak out a, very, little extra MPG, valet mode, which takes away all the hoonability, and snow mode for spotty weather but the seventh driving mode is tow, and it feels out of place in this SUV after all, a tow vehicle and a track car are two different things but not in this case all the extra cooling systems, beefy suspension and brakes required to make the SRT hold up on track also aid in pulling 8,700 pounds around without trouble.